Here the pictures mix in a strange way. For the Christmas and the New Year I'm in Germany, visiting family and friends and, of course, doing a bit of fishing with the old mates. The three of us know this big river, the Weser, for almost 60 years now, have witnessed a lot of changes, like more or less everywhere else. In a densely populated country like Germany, there are plenty of different groups claiming the river for their individual interests. From inland navigation via ornithologists and birdwatchers to riflemen and anglers. Therefore, a lot of red tape is needed to reconcile all these different lobbies. To call this compromising would be a euphemism. Animosities and conflicts are on the agenda and the angler, as the supposedly weakest stakeholder, has suffered most. Mm -hmm. That reminds me of my looking back at the old Donegal Ireland footage from the early 1990s. A lot of red tape has been introduced here too in these past 30 or so years. It came along with a so-called development of certain fisheries in the course of general progress. Progress, however, is not tantamount to improvement. You just have to look at the mountain lakes. Some regions here have not been developed and those untouched, still wild places fish as good today as they did in the past, for the simple reason they were left alone. Needless to say, these places are under threat, under constant threat. There's always some developer or another who could do some good by planting coniferous monocultures, lower the water levels, abstract water, build houses or wind farms, and so on and so on and so on. Oh, great fish! Mighty fish! Nevertheless, there are still a few untouched places in the hills of Donegal. And hopefully they stay like that for future generations to enjoy. So, let's be vigilant and let's look with hope into the future. Hope that the good things stay as they are and may the other things improve. <laughs>